Hi, I'm LPS Winterberry, and today I'm going to tell you five LPS life hacks. So let's just get into the video. The first LPS hack is to use a book, tissue box, craft foam, or a folder for the background. Right now I'm actually using a tissue box, and for the bottom I'm using craft foam. And in previous videos I have used this folder, and this composition book for um, DIY videos. This next hack is really common. Use a stick to move the LPS instead of using your fingers. All you need is a q-tip or a lollipop stick and just tape it behind the LPS. Some people don't actually like this method. I don't know why. I kind of don't like it either. It seems kind of unnatural, but at the same time, it kind of looks cool too. Are you afraid of getting rust on your LPS? Well, now you can clean your LPS in peace. After washing your LPS, secure its neck with the tissue so it won't rust. Don't you just hate having dust on your LPS surface? Here's something. Wrap an area of the surface with plastic wrap. Don't waste too much of it. Whenever you need a film, just peel it off and you won't have dust on the area. This won't last forever, so only use plastic wrap when you really need it. As seen in any LPS series, LPS tubers usually make their characters cry using water. For me, water slips away too easily and it's hard to see with some of my LPS. So instead of using water, use hand sanitizer. This helps tremendously. It cleans the LPS's eyes and it makes it, makes it look like it's crying. So it's a win-win situation. The hand sanitizer is thick enough to stay on LPS, which is why I use it. Those were five LPS life hacks that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!